Um, there is definitely a change in the music music community, the music scene. Um, as it as it's gotten more expensive and and more ridiculous to live here. Um, yeah, you do you see a a very big difference in the amount of artists and the types of music that are out there. There's so many different genres of music now. It's just like it's depleted. There's nothing left. There's so little good music. Is there good music? Yeah, there is, but it's not as plentiful as it was. surprised with this amazing band. I'm just floored. I'm actually at a loss for words, which doesn't come easy for me to be at a loss for words. All and Siri right. lives in the Fillmore, so we're right in the heart of the jazz district. Fillmore is definitely changing. But that's what's nice about this band, because they're not just all jazz. They're not, ju they're, they're not like just R&B. They're kind of a mixture of it all. There are pockets of music now in SF, but like it's so small compared to what it was maybe 25 years ago, 20 years ago. Like it, when it was hot. There was like a time when it was strong. You even know? even some of the venues that we played maybe like three years ago out in San Francisco aren't there anymore. You know, and there are venues that were there for a very long time. Like the smaller stuff when you when you first get a group together and you're starting out. You know, it's like those venues that allow like uh, up and coming acts to play you're seeing less and less of that there was this place that uh called brainwash cafe that recently closed down so this was uh, a laundromat that had a cafe in it and a stage for live music Crazy it was weird. just like the weirdest yeah. combination of stuff but um they they took in a lot of like up and coming music people whether it's just acoustic guitar players or full bands because yeah. we played their full band i think and um that place shut down. It had been in business for a long time, like 20 yeah. years or something like that. Finally, you know, breathed its last breath, which is really weird. Like, yeah. it was a like, very iconic place that had been there forever, and now yeah. it's just gone. If you put that on something, put it on me. That girl from Busan gave me brain like I'm a zombie. I pull up, one deep. Y'all pull up like you put it on a onesie. She got that fake Gucci like the dude who came out of jail. They tried to clone me too, but they failed. Driving 50 in the fast lane from San Jose to Oakland Vallejo. Going federal at 40, chasing after the mail. I'm in some chains like Alice, trying to change like Malice. But I can't till I get the juice and drink it from a chalice. If anyone challenge, I take them. No question, spend your rent money on food. I just ate in your Section. Yeah, because I think you know, as an artist, or all of us, like we can we can create probably no problem. You know, that's like what we love to do. Um, but like once you get into like promotion, like marketing, and trying to you know increase uh, what's it called your reach, your uh, awareness, like that's a whole nother mindset that you got to take on. Um, it's like a whole nother zone, a mode that you got to go into. It's hard yeah. to focus on both, especially if you're trying to be as creative as you can be. Your energy between those yeah. What else? I mean, SF has a lot of good venues. Like, oh, one of my favorites is the Warfield on Market. That one's dope. It's like medium, kind of, not too big, not too small. It I'm not sure like if I've been to Warfield. Big. I've it's heard cool. of it. It's yeah, it's yeah. cool. But like, I can go like either way. Like, I've had bad experiences there and good ones. Oh yeah. I've but it's it's the biggest. I'm honestly, like, like one of the biggest. Yeah, but I like what you're saying. Like the the smaller close quarter ones, like uh, like bottom of the hill. That's dope. Even like Slims neck of the dope. woods, Slims. Neck of the woods. Where's that? It's in uh that pl like the other Chinatown in San Francisco. Richmond District. Richmond District. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
up until now you played it safe and in the same place oh well to answer the question first about san francisco music scene or bay area music scene i think it's fair to say that it is the bay area music scene just because especially how san francisco is right now it's so expensive that a lot of people are moving out so for example i say i'm from san francisco but i'm actually from south san francisco which is a completely different city <laughs> from san francisco it it kind of has affected my sound because a lot of the people that i have worked with have moved to la and have left the bay area so in that sense, yes, it has affected my sound um, because, yeah, I haven't worked with anyone else really since. I, I still think that we, we hold a pretty heavy hip hop, hip hop, uh, I guess, movement. I don't think that that's really gone away and I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. All right, well, what, was that, what was that hip hop song you were listening to in the car? You said from the 90s. Oh man, I was listening to Don't Give Me No Bam or Weed. Oh. <laughs> I know, super random. Don't give me no bammer weeds. We don't smoke that shit in a SFC. Don't give me no bammer weeds. We don't smoke that shit in a SFC. Three, two, one, coming in with the bank. Two dark skin niggas, not a motherfucking There's also some really cool um, hip hop songs about Frisco. Uh, RBL Posse. Um, um, you know, has some, has some great, has some great songs like uh, uh, Don't Give Me No Bammer Weed. That's probably you know my second favorite Frisco song. I would have to say, uh, Soul Clap. Come on, come on. That's a classic record That's right there. Classic. Oh my God. Oh my. Oh, let me touch. You. you guys want to know about Bay? You. So Z Man to me is probably the best San Francisco rapper right now today. Still doing it. Him or Equipto, as far as like real San Francisco rappers. And this record, this record's old, but this record's on the Hyro label. And he does the artwork too. He's an artist. I mean, he did the artwork on it. Shout out to Z-Man, Z-Mani, Z-Dazzle. I actually saw him yesterday at Trader Joe's. I've been to San Francisco specifically since mm, late 94. Uh, but I mean, you know, I, uh, I, I grew up, in, um, I grew up in, uh, in the North Bay, went to high school in Sacramento. So basically, um, you know, most of my life in, in the Bay Area. I don't know, it's hard to express how cool this place is without like sounding like, you know, you're, like you're not being authentic or whatever, but I was always kind of intimidated from about this place because, you know, it's got so many, you know, really expensive records and whatnot. And when I first started DJing, I was on a restricted budget. So I had to kind of, I had to kind of, uh, you know, look look to see where I get the biggest bang for my buck but um all the all the people that work here the owner cool crisp is 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 a really humble down to earth guy they get really cool stuff in here i like to just come in here and soak up the like if you look at the um um the old posters and whatnot that they have in here it's just a great vibe we got all, all original um you know records they got a listening station always got cool new 45s that's kind of like what i'm into now and then um you know whoever's here usually will turn you on to something um um yeah, this, this place is awesome. It's like church, man. It's, it's a spiritual place, man, really. San Francisco, because of the seven by seven geographic constraints that, you know, being at the end of the peninsula is, it's, it's, it's fairly easy to, nav to navigate and get around and it's not as, you know, finding parking is difficult, but, um, but just, you know, getting around is, is not. And every neighborhood kind of has its own kind of feel, vibe. There's great restaurants everywhere. You know, so um, I love San Francisco. I love it. Palo Alto is like a suburban tech bubble. Um, a lot of Teslas, iPhones, um, sushi Ritos. Um, it's, uh, it's a very bougie place, um, like I said, a lot of tech, a lot of money, um, very academically competitive, Stanford is right, right around the corner, but pristine, super beautiful, like a rich man's fairy tale paradise. Just looking in my bedroom or whatever, it's, it's a very peaceful, serene place. Nothing ever changes. 
nothing ever really big happens here. Um, so it's a very peaceful, um, static working environment, um, which I like, but it can also be isolating and um, can make you really lazy. Um, in terms of like NorCal as a whole, I think it's just like a lot of wonky, really weird, um, experimental beat music coming out of here. G Jones is, I guess, the perfect example of that. Um, I think that's what the vibe of the Bay kind of brings to electronic music. Where do you think the wackiness came from? Um, probably just a lot of weed and like acid. <laughs> if I had to guess, <laughs> it's a pretty lax vibe. I mean, it's pretty much impossible to live here unless you are in tech. Um, the only reason I can get away with it is because my parents are in tech. <laughs> if I was living on my own, I would probably move to LA in a heartbeat. First off, the scene is way bigger. Um, it's slightly cheaper. Um, it's just more doable, I think, for most people. It's very hard to live in the Bay if you're not working for a tech company, I think. Can I get a piece of mine, of mine? Can you put this into your mind? Deeper under the BS and deeper than deepest rhyme. Deeper under the surface, trying really won't suffer. See, put a little effort in and maybe then you will find what you was looking for. I got a friend, he got a bag of what you was looking for. You can see inside of his hand is what you was looking for. For your mental and your design is what you was looking for. You were really looking for time, cause time is of the essence. Essence to the nature, nature to the soul, soul to the spirit, spirit to the prayers, prayers to the answers and answer to our prayers. Now can I get a piece of mine? The most expensive part of creating out here is just the living situation. Um, and if we're talking in terms of the Bay Area, prices for living skyrocketed and they, they're they still like going up. So um, a lot of people from the Bay Area are actually moving to Sacramento um, for cheaper living and it's only an hour and a half away from the Bay Area. So um, it definitely takes a toll on the artists themselves um, because they're struggling so hard to just live and when they when they have to do that they don't have as much energy or motivation to pursue what they do in the arts yeah. so you guys are still here i'm gonna say bye to you guys but yeah yeah we'll be here we'll be here thank you so much thank you San Francisco is, it, it's still always going to be home. It's familiar to me um, and, and there's just so much here in the Bay Area, you know. There's definitely a, like a loss of money as far as like these venues being able to pay individuals and artists. But that money is getting made up in other areas and you've got to find that and like as artists, you know, you would not necessarily think, oh well, Maybe I should go after the corporate scene. Maybe I can go after events. Maybe I can try to find ways to get into that. But if you do, I mean, it's huge money there. A lot of good art is made, especially in times where there's like social instability. It, it creates these experiences that um, inspires a lot of art, you know? Because there's, there's a lot of people who can now relate to, you know, this kind of struggle. Um, so when people are out there, you know, making songs about it, there's like a certain level of, I guess, pain and a certain level of um, reality <laughs> in it that, that people can kind of feel um, just because that stuff's coming from the heart. Like, it's just all about getting to know people who believe in your artistry and the direction that you want to go. Because like, if you have people backing you like that, then you really can't fail because you have a strong circle of, of, of friends and people that believe in you, so. Me, your location must focus Communicating cause I just need A time and place to come through I said just assume me Your location the driver The vibration I don't need Nothing 
cancer away. 